It's raining. Anyways, what is up guys? My cousin is picking up a set of wheels. I know he's not gonna film. Last night he found a set of wheels and he's always wanted ES2s and they're so high priced that we can't even, you know, pull the trigger on them because they're so expensive. A set popped up for $300. I didn't believe it and the specs are pretty spot on for what he needs, so we'll see. Alright, we out. Literally such a nice day out, it's crazy. We don't get days like these in Arizona, so. Alright guys, we have made it to the meetup spot. It's okay. Picking them up. Bro. Where's the money? Damn. <laughs> Anyways, we're picking up 300 bucks. Can't go wrong. Is this good? Is this good? I hope so. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit. There's like little Yeah, yeah, there. but not. Ooh. Awesome, bro. I appreciate it. What the oh! What the hell? Oh, what happened, bro? I'm good, bro. I don't even fucking care, to be honest. It's nothing. Mission accomplished. You got 350Z wheels for your 350Z. I mean, V wheels. V wheels for your yeah, car. The exact ones I wanted. Spec and 10.5. And 9.5 front plus 15. Should be pretty. Pretty, pretty aggressive yeah, when dude. it's low. It's gonna look clean. It's in a little bit of camera and it should be good, but. Shout out Francisco from Lucky. Infinity Motorsports because we wouldn't have gotten him without him, so. Okay, we'll tag him right here. We'll tag him right, right here. There. We made it to his house now. Time to see the wheels, guys. So, I'm pretty hyped. All right, let's see. A little fucking dirty, but it looks so good. It's Factory finish. Bad. Let me see the width. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, everything looks good. Little curb badge, nothing, nothing major. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Kind of crazy because we've been talking about these for I mean, a month, month, two months, yeah. three months. I mean, you've wanted them for years. Yeah, like, I wanted them for years, but you but didn't have the car yet. The like one month that I've had this car. Yeah, I've got it. So many parts. Yeah, pretty much everything I've ever wanted. Check like this one out. And it's a different wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real TE. Stadium legend. Oh, stop looking at them, bro. Don't worry, they'll be here still. And it's freezing, raining, as you guys can see. And his door, his window is down. He doesn't even know. Three weeks later. All right, guys, we have made it to his house. Um, we have picked up the wheels. The other one is in the front. And this man has to go to work, and I'm gonna continue your legacy, bro. Like I mentioned, the wheels are in the back. I am now driving to my dad's shop. And if you guys watch my other videos, you guys know that that's where I do all my powder coating. Shout out my dad. Shout out Rich Oscar. And I'm poor Oscar. All right, we have made it to the warehouse house. Um, if you guys know, powder coating, one of the biggest things that you must do to the wheels, prep it. I've mentioned in a couple videos that you can get away with, you know, sanding it by hand, scotch writing it, making the original powder coat dull. And the correct way to do it is to chemical strip and then sandblast but this method works too you just gotta really put in the work though so you can get by with doing this so j dog smooth decided to help me out and give them to me all prepped and he did a pretty good job so most people just you know give them to me all messed up or plastic did so makes it a lot worse but all four of them are gonna come out pretty good i have a good feeling about this so we're gonna get right to it all right so i'm just starting to scrub it down i went ahead and just gave it a light sand one more time like i said just to go over it these are hella good looking wheels. I'm really stoked to see this get done. I think this one is pretty much done. We're not gonna be shooting the inner barrel because we're probably gonna run out of powder. Yeah, let's see where this goes. Alrighty guys, they are in the oven. The infamous oven here that has provided me thousands of dollars. Just kidding. But I don't know if you guys can see. We're gonna wait till that hits probably 300 degrees. 350 and then yeah we'll probably take them on and shoot and as far as chrome as you guys see my dad uses prismatic gold cardinal he has everything everywhere but this is chrome right here it is from prismatic super chrome i'll put a link in the description and we're going to be using black chrome i don't know where it is but 
basically goes over that. It's kind of hard to talk with my mask, but I guess we're just gonna shoot it. I always like to start from the inside of the wheel and work my way up to the front at the end. That's just my way of doing it. And like I said, I'm not a professional at doing this, so this is just my way of doing it. All right, so the wheels are now in the oven after I just shot them. So if you guys aren't familiar with black chrome from Prismatic, you have to lay the super chrome as the base, which is what I shot right now. And then and then you have to shoot black chrome on top, which is kind of like, I guess, the top coat. Yeah, I'm not sure if it requires clear. I don't think so, to be honest, but you can add it if you wanted to. But those of you that powder coat know that if you add clear, it'll make it a little bit dull. I'm not gonna add a clear just because I think it should be fine. And then car isn't really gonna be in the sun as much. So now we're gonna wait 15 minutes. I just shot them and then we're gonna let them cool off, set them down and then yeah, shoot black chrome over it. All righty guys, it is time. It's been about 16, 17 minutes. So I'm pretty stoked to see what they look like. They look gray on camera, but as you guys saw, they have that chrome undercoat. Man, they look really good, so. They look literally good. Let me pull them out so you guys can take a better look at them. Look what the cat dragged in. A dog. Well, look good. I'm happy. They literally look perfect in the sun. I can't. I, we haven't seen them in the sun, so it's gonna look good. Uh, yeah, it is crazy. Who would have thought, you know? Yeah. Shout out my dad for the powder. Low key. Shout out uh, senior for Oscar. Rich Oscar. Rich Oscar. Low key. the swag mobile wheels are back in my car we're gonna take him to the tire shop he has to get the tires at his house and yeah we're gonna go get them mounted see how they look damn that thing is fresh yeah. i'm not even into bikes bro but that thing is clean is that how we look bro driving oh, look at this dude. look at that, I smoked that slow shit. piece of it's probably fast. Five points slow. Oh, it's a dude. Never mind. <laughs> What's up, bro? I guess um, this is the meat of swap for cholos. My bad. For homies. We got the Arizona. These food. These foods. Food. Hella foods. Is that foods? <laughs> <laughs> Our normal tire shop was closed, so we had to come here. So far, they're they're taking care of us so far, so no issues. Oh my god, damn! I think that's so good. Yeah, how do you feel? Good, really good, bro. Really good. They did a they did a really good job. All right, guys, where are you? We're on the way back home. So, um, as you guys can see, they were mounted professionally by our our people. We're gonna probably pick up some lug nuts from AutoZone, just some gloss black ones, and then we'll be rolling. All right, so quick little rundown. Car's already yellow. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this. I don't think it matters, but we're at his house. He's slapping on the wheels. Oh my God. Bro. Oh. And he picked up some new fresh black lugs from AutoZone. So I can't wait till it drops, but so far it's looking. It's looking good. I don't know how the fitment from top to bottom is gonna be. Yeah. I think it should be pretty close, but he might. Yeah, you're gonna pull the fenders, I think. 
I'm gonna have to roll this one tent. Well, yeah. I'm hoping we get a little bit of camber. Should I have like a slight hair? The rears are gonna be pretty much there. Yeah, rears, as you guys know, have the over fenders. Yeah, so it's, it adds like a little bit. It's looking a little flush. Once you drop it, we'll see. I think it's gonna drop and look good. So yeah, I feel like it might be perfect. So hopefully, I mean, everything works good. All right, it has kind of settled. This one is kind of weird fitment, as you guys can see, just because this is where it was hit before. We yeah. need to fix the alignment slash camber yeah, slash so angle. Washer or something, so it's not sitting perfect, but. And then the front over here looks pretty good. He might have to roll a hair. Yeah, a little but bit and then a little bit more low, but it's good. You could get away with camber and no roll, but this side is pretty good. This side is literally flush. But yeah, that's it from my end. Comment, like, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one. More updates on his channel. Of course, this is his car. Follow his build. We'll probably drop a cinematic video, just revealing its final, final stage. So that'll be coming up. Yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Deuce.